Hi, in this session I am going to show you what are all the form options. So to check the form options you need to go to the FDI 5 which is a change mode. So you can use these options uh, when you are creating the form as well. So after you go to the form either you can go to the display balances form or a line item analysis form. So now I am going to show you what are all the options available under the form for the balance report. So here this is called menu toolbar. So you have under the menu toolbar form, edit, go to and formatting. So these are all the options I am going to go through with you under the form options. So here you can save the uh, report after changes. So after you click on save the system will show form saved. You go to the FDAI 4. So I just go to the 2. And this is a 2. So now I give the form what we created, which is a number 1 here. Either you can drop check for the drop down list or you can enter the name. So I am using the drop down list. And now just click on access here click create so this was created and you click save so this is how to copy the form now you go to the change so now you can see the same form there are two forms created so to delete the form you can double click on the form what you want to delete then go to the form and then click on delete so here the system will show a pop-up window which is to ensure that you do you really want to delete the form then if you click S then the system will delete this form and this is how you can delete the form if it is created or if you don't want to use it so please note that you cannot delete the report without deleting the form. So you need to come to the form first and then delete this template and then you can delete the report. Now you double click here. So existing report is this one. Now you, you go to the edit options. Under that you have general data selections here. So these general data selections are usually your parameters or it can be a fixed values or a default values or a, uh, it's a variables for our input parameters. So these are called uh, general data selections. So in case of a balance reports, you have uh, very few characters are available here, characteristics are available. And in case of a line item report, you have many more options. So now go to element and now I just want to insert a row between amount check or accumulated balance. So now we go to edit, go to element and insert element. So it can be a predefined element or a formula or a key figure with it characteristics so you can insert here if you want so this is how to insert the element in this session I am going to show you how to insert a blank rows and change hide or show hidden and rows columns so here you just go to the change form
and you double click on the form you want to change so now I can see here there are six columns it means six, six key figures I just want to hide out of these columns uh, I want to hide only one uh, key figure here so now I just go to the column display so here um, actually what you can do is after you display to the columnar format then go to the edit columns and click on hide so you see now you cannot see the hidden column here so here actually there are two hidden columns if you really want to see just click here column hidden columns show so there will be amount and you check click ok now save again you click because you have done some changes so the system will show those pop-up windows sometimes company code color on click on execute so if you see this report click on the customer click here so but when you are displaying in the column format the system is not showing here any accumulated balance check so this is how we can do the option for hiding the some of the columns you don't want so you double click on the form so now you go to the column display so now the report form has saved so now you want to delete the column just select the column and click on delete so now the system will uh, come up with a pop-up window go to the are you sure you want to delete click s yes. then system will delete the column so you can delete the column this way and also in case you created a two-dimensional report so you can do the same as for the rows as well so now the form is saved formatting in the formatting first color settings So here, when I check the, when I click on the cursor, color setting system pop up with a window, position the cursor in the element which can be formatted. So you can select select the block the color now I want to apply this for all the so now currently is no coloring so I just want to choose the standard color click OK so the color settings was changed to the selected data now the number format so the number format you want to have decimal places or you want to have in units or you want to have in a hundreds or so you can maintain the factors then click ok so you can see here the system has changed 
the status for these and how to apply the reverse sign so sign reversal of or sign reversal on uh, if it is a positive the value should be the show as a negative if it is a negative value should show as a positive so you just click on set over sign on click ok so the system will save the data into the reverse format so when it comes to the other format so you want to show the zeros or hide the zeros I just click show the zeros click ok and you can see here these are all the settings we have chosen for the for this report after all after you done all these settings click on save so now the system is compiling the program and the changes is going to save in the SAP generated program so now the form is saved so now I go to the execute the report so now the system open the new screen so now go to FDI 0 click on execute So now select the report and then execute. So don't give any customer. Come execute. So now you click on the customer and then select the customer and click on the overview. So now you can see the number format has changed you can see this units and you can see there is a values here 